Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Baby JTV, man. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what I mean? Road to 1K. We're getting there slowly but surely. Appreciate y'all, man. Let's get right into it, though, right? Brittany Renner, right? Bundle of Brittany was interviewed by Kevin Samuels. It wasn't really even an interview. It was almost like a therapy session where uh, Unk, you know what I'm saying, Kevin Samuels, was basically doing a doing a therapy session and actually, you know, telling her about herself. But what I really liked about this is that for one, the very first thing is that Kevin Samuels is expanding and he's a very, very smart businessman. Very, very, very smart businessman. A few days ago on his IG, he had like a boomerang of or a little video of Brittany Renner uh, there. And apparently they had went shopping, which started all these rumors Oh, are they dating? Is this sugar daddy season? Bruh, that's just smart business. I'm telling you right now, from the looks and the just the vibe of their whole interview, I'm going to link it in the bio, by the way. Kevin Samuels is just vibing. He's just vibing, meaning he sees a bag coming out of this. What does that mean? That means that this interview with Brittany Runner is going to touch a million views by next week. Or maybe in four days. Why do I say that? I say that because even the bootleg versions of the academics in Britney Renner interview, even the bootleg ones are touching a million right now, right? So what Kevin Samuels did is he goes with the hot hand, okay? And on top of that, Kevin Samuels has reached a level of popularity now that I wouldn't be surprised if people are reaching out to him. I would not be surprised if Brittany Renner reached out to him first, right? And this goes along with my theory that Kevin Samuels will have a big TV show within the next six months. And you know what? If he wants to, he has so much power that he doesn't even have to do TV. He can just stick to YouTube and just keep making crazy bread, which he is. I'm telling you, YouTubers make a lot more than TV stars these days. Sounds crazy. Sounds insane. But the top end, high end YouTubers, we're talking Kevin Samuels, you know what I'm saying? Not only with the YouTube AdSense, but with the um, with, with the cash uh, donations, you know what I'm saying? Super chats. Come on, man. Come on. I think if Kevin Samuels went on Twitch, he'd even make more money. I don't know if he's there, but he should go, right? But then the other end of the coin is the Britney Renner part, right? Now... We've talked about Britney Renner a lot on this channel, bro. You know what I mean? And I, I'll be real. It's because you guys like watching them videos. So I keep making them videos. I'm keeping it a bean. But if we just keep it honest, in this interview, right, she comes off looking a little bit better than she did off the academics interview. Now, why? Why? I think she respects Kevin Samuels a lot more than academics. 100% to the point where she said when she was pregnant, she used to watch a lot of uh, Kevin Samuels uh, live streams on uh, IG, right? His IG lives, right? And it was clearly an extremely respectful conversation. And that's something huge about Kevin Samuels. It's all about talking and having respect, right? That's why he flips out at women because some of them, actually a lot of them show disrespect. But anyways, back to the main point. What did we learn from Brittany Renner during this interview? I personally learned that she's still a manipulator. She's still a thought, but she's very self-aware of it, right? Meaning that she knows her perception. She knows her social media influence. And she's not a dumb, clueless uh, Tatiana, right? She's pretty smart, right? So what I think is that if we're to go up the whole hierarchy, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to the whole hierarchy, right? The thought, uh, the thought uh, tower. We'll go with that. The thought tower. You have the A plus apex hole, right? And in this situation, I think it's Kim Kardashian and that whole Kardashian clique because they're thoughts. Yes, they are thoughts, right? They're literally white trash thoughts who are really, really rich, right? And really, really good at makeup and really, really good at finding surgeons. So you have that. They finesse the whole empire off thoughtery. You know what I'm saying? That's very impressive. 
extremely impressive. I give that A plus Hoenn, right? You say, let's say uh, a, a a B plus to A minus Ho Amber Rose. Amber Rose went from stripping in Philly, right? Broke his shit to the Grammys with Kanye to having millions of people following her on IG. Why? Because they want to see her shake her ass. That's it. <laughs> I'm being real. They want to see her face and they want to see her shake her ass. That's about it, right? And then we get to the B, uh, to the C level thoughts. And that's where I think Brittany Renner is. Brittany Renner is a C plus to a B level thought that is trying to get to the Kim Kardashian level. And I don't blame her, right? If you are naturally a whore, right? And you like that kind of a uh, thoughtivity, right? Then be all you can be, then hold better. You know what I'm saying? Then reach your goals. You know what I'm saying? Reach your high, goggle up all the semen. Pause. Do what you got to do, but do it smart and do it the right way in order to finesse yourself into a better financial position. Now, look, I'm not advocating for pimps. I'm not doing that, right? But what I'm going to advocate for is that a woman like Brittany Renner needs a very, very good manager, right? A very strong manager because interviews like Kevin Samuels, one, it helps her profile for sure. But it won't help her in the long term. This interview made her, she was self-aware, yes, but she actually made herself look bad in certain areas to the point where you're like, really? Really? What man with any kind of logic is trying to deal with her long term? And guess what? Unfortunately, there'll be a lot. You know what I mean? But here's what it is, right? Uh, Is Brittany Renner a bad person? No. Is she manipulative? Absolutely right is she honest yes but sometimes she has lies of omission which a lot of people do but y'all guys gotta move smart and i'm gonna extend this analogy to just regular people everyday people of everyday life y'all gotta be able to just sit down and listen to these females talk that's what kevin samuels did Kevin Samuels didn't cut her off. Kevin Samuels was patient. He let her talk. And with her talking, she exposed herself. And this goes for even anybody, even males. Let a motherfucker talk long enough, they're going to reveal to you who they are and what they are. Right? Now, back to the main point. Brittany Renner, she is a C minus, no, C plus to B level thought. And I think that she could hold better. And I think that her ambitions to make money and uh, be financially good will eventually lead, this is my prediction, to her doing porn. She's going to do a lot of porn. But as I say, she needs a proper manager, right? And back in the day, the guys who used to manage whores were pimps. I'm not saying she should get a pimp, but I'm saying that any kind of manager would do her some good because there's some instances where she is losing quote-unquote clientele but y'all let me know what y'all think man in the comments below man did y'all watch the interview you know what i'm saying maybe i'm right maybe i'm wrong let me know in the comments below big baby jtv like comment sub and i'm out bro